together gives me a sigh of relief when the looks at a party makes me feel that I want to leave. Together gives me the courage to go on stage because someone is proud of me just because and in spite of it. Together gives me the willpower to be there for you with a sandwich or to help you with homework or maybe just to sit next to you for a while. Together gives me the right and the duty to stand up with you against the one that walks over you, whether it is emotional or physical. Together helps me to remember when everything is going haywire, I can let someone in to see it. Together makes me a part of something bigger and meaningful. Because people, you see, needs people. And God knows. And you and I learn that we need to meet together because there you see me and I see you and we look forward to the big future that already began together. together. Let's read together from Hebrews 10 verse 24 to 25. Let us think of ways to motivate one another to do acts of love and good works. And let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of His return is drawing near. Listen to this, guys, and listen closely. People need people. You need people around you. The author of Hebrews writes to a congregation that hasn't known and followed Jesus for a very, very long time. And he realized that for their faith to grow and for them to draw closer to Jesus, they really need each other. We need people around us to grow as well. Christians can help each other to learn and to explore what life with Jesus and his family is like. This is still true for you and for me as well, as it, just as it was for those first Christians. God gave us to each other to help it, one another and to do good things for each other. We are God's gift to each other. We make His heart happy when we care about each other and when we show it. It is sometimes very difficult especially when life gets really really busy but when you have the opportunity to go to church or even to meet in small groups and to listen to what Jesus tells us in the Bible and to pray then do it do it with your friends do it with each other make an effort to get together that is where we realize and when we realize what other people can do and what we can do for other people and where we can share what we need. This is where we can use words of affirmation and show that we really do care for one another. Sometimes something amazing happens when we are together even without saying anything. It is difficult to do and experience that when we never meet together, when we don't see each other. We have to help each other to find ways and times to meet, each, to meet together and you have to make effort to go. Just like when you make an effort to visit an old friend, we have to make effort to meet together as believers. We then help each other to remember that we are part of the faith community, a bigger faith community, and that we are part of Jesus' bigger family. So think about those times when someone stood up for you and helped you. Think about how much easier it is to arrive somewhere when your friends go with you. Think about what it means for you when someone supports you next to the field when you're playing hockey or rugby. It makes a big, big difference. We can also do good things to others and be there for one another. This is why it is so important to be part of a big, big, big family of God. And when possible, to get together and worship God together. It is a wonderful privilege to be able to come together and to worship God. Let us grab onto this gift 
with both hands and enjoy each other and each other's presence while we're getting to know Jesus better every time we get together. Jesus, that we are part of your big family and thank you that we can show each other that we really do care. And I pray that during this week we would have lots of opportunities to share with other people that we love them and show them that we really do care. I thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. <music>